Hello everybody, welcome back to Dog Pound Talks, and in today's video I'm going to be doing episode 1 of the Sweet 16 special. This is a 5 episode series and I am here with the Cleveland Couch. Say hello. Hello, I am the Cleveland Couch. And I will put his channel in the link in the description below. But anyways, we are going to be doing our picks and predictions for the Sweet 16. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first game is the Arkansas Razorbacks versus the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Gonzaga got their W in a tight game against Memphis where they won 82-78. And Arkansas also had a tight game against New Mexico State winning 53-48. Timmy is Gonzaga's leading scorer and JD Note is Arkansas's leading scorer. With that being said, I'm going to make my prediction. I just believe Gonzaga is just ultimately the better team here. I'm going to pick the Zags. How about you? Um, looking at the stats, um, uh, I think that Arkansas played an easier team. Memphis is a pretty good team, um, but I do think I agree with you there. Um. The Zags just have a lot more talent on their squad compared to Arkansas. Arkansas really just doesn't compare with the talent, so I'm going to go Zags. All right, that game is going to be played on Thursday at 7.09 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. Our next game is the Michigan Wolverines versus the Villanova Wildcats. Michigan's upset win over Tennessee had the world shocked, and Villanova beat Ohio State by 10 points, and Ohio State, I'm just going to put this out there, they had a great game plan going into the Nova game. They had, they really did. That just shows that Villanova is just a really good team. I think Michigan can pull off the win, but I think Villanova is a better team. I think it'll be close. I think Villanova wins this one. Personally, I don't even think Michigan should be here. I think Tennessee just really laid an egg. You know what I mean? They did not have a good game whatsoever. Um, I'm uh, I'm definitely not going with Michigan. Yeah, I'm. I it just doesn't seem logical, but definitely, yeah. I'm gonna go. uh, Villanova. Villanova. All right. So Michigan's leading scorer is Hunter Dickinson, while Villanova's leading scorer is Colin Gillespie. And the next game is going to be Texas Tech versus Duke. Texas Tech's win was against Notre Dame, and they won 59-53 in a thrilling finish, and Duke beat Michigan State in a thrilling finish as well. Coach K and Duke couldn't have played that game better in the final minutes. That Michigan State team is tough. Without a doubt, give me Duke winning this one. Paolo Banchero, unstoppable. Banchero is just a crazy good player. I think by a landslide. Okay, that's a little drastic. I think Duke's going to win by a decent margin. Uh, um, uh, Ten or more. All right, our next game is going to be Providence versus Kansas. And this is Providence's first appearance in the Sweet 16 in 25 years. They smoked Richmond with a final score of 79-51. to And Kansas played a solid, good enough to win game over Creighton. I just think Kansas is the better team. I love Ochai Agbaji. He's just my guy. So I'm going to take Kansas winning that game. And it will be on 7-29 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday on TBS. You know, I like myself a good old underdog story. I'm going to go Providence. Nice. Okay. Next game, we have the North Carolina Tar Heels taking on the UCLA Bruins. North Carolina upset Baylor in overtime. Great story. North Carolina's pretty much one of their best players, Brady Manick fouled or actually got ejected due to a flagrant foul and um yeah but they still pulled off the win in overtime ucla beat st mary's no problem 76 to 52 uh their leading scorer for north carolina is armando baycott and the leading scorer for ucla is johnny juzang this game will be played 9 40 eastern time on cbs that'll be friday and give me north carolina they continue to roll uh, I got, personally, 
I got North Carolina uh, by a last uh, by like a, <clears throat> some last minute points. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eighty to seventy. Okay, fair. Cause like, like okay, fouling. eighty to seventy seventy three. Okay, because of the fouling mm-hmm. at the end. So there's a lot of fouls and foul shots. Mm-hmm. All so right. On, so Our next game is going to be the Houston Cougars taking on. The Arizona squad. Houston's win over Illinois was dominant at the end, and Arizona's win against TCU, arguably the best game of the tournament, beating TCU in the overtime. Kyler Edwards is Houston's leading scorer with about 14 points per game. Benedict Matherin, he is insane. He's averaging 17.8 per game. Benedict had 30 points in their win in overtime. Give me... I believe the best team in the whole tournament, Arizona. Yeah. I just don't think Houston has the willpower. Arizona is. I think there's a chance they even go all the way. I got Arizona win this by a landslide. Next up, which is probably arguably my favorite game of the whole tournament, the St. Peter's Peacocks versus the Purdue Boilermakers. St. Peter's continues to roll, beating Murray State by 10, 70-60, while Purdue beat Texas by 10 as well. I think this will come down to it. St. Peter's leading man is Daryl Banks the second. Purdue's leading man is Jayton Ivey at 17.7 points per game. This will be televised on CBS. I love St. Peter's, but I got to go Purdue. I just think they're the better team. And this is, Purdue could cruise to the Final Four because Baylor is out of their league and so is Kentucky. I do love me an underdog story, as I said. But this is Purdue. And the other team has never been to a Sweet 16. So I think it's more experience and talent for Purdue. And St. Peter's just doesn't have all that. They have a good coaching staff, but I just don't think they're going to pull it off to Purdue. They did beat Kansas, though, so I could see them winning, but... I think it's a better bet to pick Purdue. Yeah, they did beat Kentucky. All right, our last game, Iowa State Cyclones versus the Miami Hurricane. Now, I got to talk about this. The upset makers, Iowa State in 11 seed, Miami a 10 seed. Who would have thought one of those teams is guaranteed to go to the Elite Eight? Not me. Iowa beat Wisconsin 54-49. to they beat them by five points. I heard there were some questionable officiating at the end of the game, but this is our predictions. That's for another day. Miami upset the two-seeded Auburn. Lots of people had Auburn going deep in the playoffs. But give me Miami because they upset Auburn, and I just don't think Iowa State's that team. I think Iowa State just got good officiating. <laughs> I, I got Miami. I really think Miami is a very talented team. Um, I was amazed when they beat Auburn, man. Auburn, they were supposed to go to, like, Final Four. Lots of people had that, yeah, in their brackets. And that that ruined a lot, a lot of brackets. <laughs> so, um, Iowa State's leading scorer is Isaiah Brockington at 17.1 points per game. And Cameron McGusty, Miami's leading scorer, at 17.5 per game. This game will be played Friday at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. The St. Peter's game will be played 7.09 p.m. on CBS Friday. And I'm going to remind you, Arizona-Houston Thursday at 10 o'clock on TBS. And we've got North Carolina-UCLA at 9.40 on CBS. And that's on a Friday. And then we've got another Friday game of Providence in Kansas, 7.30 on TBS. And we got Texas Tech versus Duke, 9.40 Thursday on CBS. And we got Michigan and Villanova, Thursday, 7.30 TBS. And then obviously Arkansas versus Duke, Thursday, 7.10 on CBS. Those are the games all Eastern time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And me and the Cleveland Couch will see you in episode two in the next one. Goodbye.